we're get, gonna test this out because my friend Q, she had a, she was streaming um, "I Love You, Colonel Sanders," and it doesn't have the background sound. So I'm kind of worried that if I stream it too, the sound would not be available. So I'm testing this out and see if it does. Because if it does, I will continue on with the stream. We're gonna go nuts, donuts, guys. Go nuts, donuts. So I just need to know if there is sound. But mm, the app is taking a while. Okay, maybe I should. Okay, okay, okay. It's open. All right. Okay, okay. So we have it now. We are streaming, and the sound is available. Okay, that should be a good thing, right? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go out and say that it's a good thing. Okay, so we're gonna start the game proper, and uh, I'll put this in here. Okay, there we go, so I can see the chat at least, because my dumbass doesn't know how to do this shit. Okay. All right. No, 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 no. What are you doing? Ah, crap. I screwed up. Um. No. What is going on? Okay, I'm just gonna set up my stuff. And see how well this goes. Okay, we're gonna start. We really am gonna start. So I hope this works. Okay, how do I go back? I'm in the game, right? Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Okay, I have to click. Okay. Dumbass. Uh, okay, so, um, here we are playing this kind of game, but it's so weird. Why, why is the stream, like, in a weird place right now? Uh, oh, okay, here we go. Well, it's live, properly live now, oh gosh. So, we are going on and Jesus Christ. There's so many things on my desk, why? It is such... Okay, so it's a free game that uh, KFC released. And, uh... We're gonna... Okay, to be honest, this is kind of my first time playing a dating simulator. But, I hope, I hope it's good. Because I I really don't know what to expect from here, man. I really don't know what to expect. So we're gonna start. New game. Uh, what happens now, guys? I don't know. <laughs> My screen is just this. Hi. Hello. Is it broken? <laughs> Colonel. Oh god, look at that. My game is dead. Is it gonna crash? Tell me no, please, because I really just want to get through one chapter and that would be good. Oh my god, can you, can you see how daddy... Okay, he, he, he looks like a young daddy. I said this on my friend's stream. He looks like a young daddy. Good lord. I mean, what, what did, what, what in the world did KFC do to actually really develop this? Cause I, I don't know. Am I gonna disclose my real name? Nope. I will still stay with Aka NG. Oh my god, look at that graphics. This is something I do appreciate with all my heart. Look at that biscuit. Ooh, I'm gonna read that. Oh, let me read that. You sleep softly as the morning sun casts a warm glow through the window of your modest student apartment. The world is peaceful and serene. You could stay in the more in the moment forever. <coughs> So weird. I think that sound is broken. Probably. <laughs> or you can wake up now. 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 
Your first day of culinary school is no time to sleep in. That sound is really broken. Oh my god. Okay, so that sound is the alarm, and it's freaking annoying, to be honest. <laughs> what am I gonna do? This is me. This is very me. Okay, you know what? We're gonna be uh, Aka and G. And we're gonna do this. I, I, I literally just fucked up my first day. <laughs> you slept through the school year and gave up <laughs> on a once in a lifetime opportunity to meet Colonel Sanders. <laughs> Game over. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I, the game hasn't even started and it's already game over. All because I slept in. Okay. <laughs> we're not gonna give up, so we're gonna try it again. Here we go. Back to square one <laughs> with the chicken and biscuits floating on my screen. Here we go again. <laughs> You sleep softly as the morning sun casts a warm glow through the window of your modest student apartment. The world is peaceful and serene. You can stay in the moment forever. Or you can wake up now. Now, now, your first day of culinary school is no time to sleep in. Lying in bed, you stare at the ceiling, thinking about everything that awaits you at the prestigious University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning. Your mind begins to wonder, who will be there? What will you cook? What should you wear? Time begins to fly by and you find your imagination getting away from you. So I've got options. Uh, you'll need to take this seriously or you allow yourself to daydream a bit thinking about the future so I have a feeling if I click this uh, it will be game over so I guess I have to play more seriously because obviously the first time around I really screwed that up so <laughs> I just want the story to progress and here we go you'll need to take this seriously Okay, I have. I need a new, a different voice for me. Okay, I got one. I better make sure to arrive prepared for the first day. You bust through your morning checklist: teeth brushed, hair combed, pits deodorized. Nothing can stop you now. You confidently grab a biscuit, strut to the door and head off to class. Just what you needed to get your blood flowing. Munching on some biscuits. Standing in the quad, you gaze upon the magnificent University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning. Here comes your lifelong best friend forever, Miriam. Oh, hell, she's cute. She's the most adorably awkward person you've ever met. And you absolutely love her for it. Now, do now be. Good morning, Akanji. Are you excited for the first day of the rest of our lives? Uh, actually, um, because I sure am. Okay, okay, a lot nervous. What's the... It's just that. This morning, I made breakfast for myself, but, well, when I ate it, I couldn't taste any love in the food. What if I'm no good? What if I fail? Classic Miriam, raised by Master Chef parents, she's always held herself to the very high standard. 
Ever since we were little babies playing together, you and you rescued me from that quicksand box. It's been clear to me that you're the most loving, caring person I know. You're gonna do great. <laughs> but without university, a cooking school, academy for learning, famous the three-day only semesters, I'm afraid of being left behind and never catching up. A sweet girl, Miriam has always had a flair for the dramatic. This summer, she got so nervous about her first kiss that she chipped the tooth practicing on a mannequin. Why would you do that? Uh, that's very questionable. But okay, let's let's overlook that. <laughs> that's just weird. Should you pep talk her or change the subject to give her some relief? So, pep talk to your best friend or change the subject to school gossip. I feel like, you know, if I pick school gossip, it's obviously gonna give me, like, a, some kind of, like, a dead end. So, I'm just gonna pep talk my best friend. Remember last month when we saw that fortune teller and had our tarot cards read? Hmm. The lady with a mask who gave me nightmares? I've been trying to forget. I, I know she looks spooky, but she was so sweet. And she told you that you were des destined for great things. Remember that card with a fancy looking tower? And that other card featuring the handsome fellow in the red suit? I've been waiting for so long to meet a handsome fellow I could call my own. I'm sure you'll, you will soon. In no time, we'll be graduating, and you'll be delighted the world, delighting the world with your heartfelt cooking in no time at all. As you talk Miriam up, you can feel her nerves begin to ease. You know what? Maybe everything will be okay after all. And if not, at least I have these killer bags. Can you believe I cut them myself? You can definitely believe it. Uh, uh, I, uh, I, I cannot believe it. Before you can get another word out, you're rudely interrupted when someone smacks your books and custom engraved measuring spoons out of your hands and onto the ground. Hey! Oh god. <laughs> Bruh, she looks like... She looks like one of those uh, grunts in... in uh, Team Magma in Pokemon. Like, I just picture her as, like, one of them. She kind of looks like one of them. Alright, let's get back. It's Asley, your arch-rival. She's totally evil, but you can't help but be filled with jealousy. She can get anything she wants, and she knows it. Hello, Asley. I think of like a voice for her. Okay, I got it. I think I might have a good one for her. I hopefully hopefully I remember all the voices because this is this is crazy. I don't know how many voices I'm gonna make today, but we're gonna we're gonna try this out. Okay. Okay, we have that. Oh, I didn't see you there, chicken skin. Akaenji's shins alone. They're perfectly normal shins. Ugh. You can't stand Asli. Even her name is annoying. You know for a fact that it's actually Ashley. But she had to add extra letters to make herself feel better than everyone. If anyone here knows what perfect shin looks like, it's us. 
we're not going to let you or your really weird insults get to us. Across the quad, you see Ashley's best friend, Van Van the Man Man, has stopped to look at his own reflection in the mirror. His pants are so tight, he can see him casually working out his glutes while he styles his hair. No lie, they're rocking glutes. <coughs> Bam Bam? You rang rang? <laughs> As long as you've known them, Ashley and Van Van have been just as close as you and Miriam, but substantially more devious. I can't believe that University of Cooking School Academy for Learning fucking long name, bro. Can we shorten that shit? We'll just call it Cooking School, alright? We'll, we'll, we'll just call it Cooking School. Would ever allow people like you to attend a student? I know, right? You'd think they'd just hand us our diplomas now. Or maybe hire us as honest professors. You amateurs could learn a lot from us. With the first day of school about to start, there's just no time to properly tell these two so you resist the urge. Let's go, Miriam. Uh. See you later, losers. <laughs> There's another guy. Oh my good lord. <laughs> this is gonna be a lot, a lot of voices, huh? So as you approach the door, you see a goofy little... <laughs> God, that sound is... Is really distracting me. You see a goofy looking kid pushing hard against the window directly next to it. <laughs> I think it's broken. You reach forward and easily pull the door open. Um, that should do the trick. be a student at the school? He must be one heck of a chef. His name tag clearly says Bob, but I guess he's reading it upside down. Hi, uh, Pop. I'm Akenji, so uh, are you going to make me hold this door all day? <laughs> nope! With that, the young man walks into the building ahead of him. Is it just me? Or is he, he kinda cute? I, I think that's just you. You both shrug your shoulders before following him into the building. You stand at the edge of the room, unsure where to sit. Other students wander in and kept themselves busy chit-chatting. I have no idea what all these have to do with like chickens, but <laughs> okay. I'll let that slip by. Who is who's this guy? I would like to know who this guy is though. Oh god. Okay, here we go. A scruffy looking pooch takes his place at the podium at the front of the class. Adorable! No, no. 
Sit down, cut down everybody. Who is this unreasonably cute pup and why is he in our culinary class? You must be Sprinkles! Head instructor and CEO of UCSAL! Peace! Come, that's a dog! I may be cute and little and fluffy, but I still demand respect. What? A cute dog is our professor? This is the best school ever! I guess only a dog's nose is capable of picking up all the nuances of fine dining. Out of nowhere, the wind begins to rush around you as a swirl of cherry blossom petals fill the air inside the classroom. I'm chilly. Someone close the window. And then... Oh god. <laughs> I'm gonna wipe my, my tears because this is just so cringy. <laughs> You're immediately swept up in the aura of this new student and his remarkable goatee. Who knew anyone could be so handsome? Time stands still. <gasps> It ain't my favorite student, Harlan. Colonel Sanders interrupts Sprinkles. Sorry, Professor Dog, before he can finish his sentence. Please call me Colonel. Colonel Sanders. I can't. I can't think of a really cool voice for him, but you know what? We'll, we'll just. Stick with that. A hushed murmur rolls through the classroom as Colonel Sanders walks down the aisle of desks. Suddenly, the room is sweltering. Sweat begins to bead across your brow. You feel like everyone is looking at you. This over here must be sweaty sweats a lot. <laughs> I forgot how he sounds like. Maybe we should open the window back up before fossil pits melts into a puddle and evaporates entirely. Hold on a second. Nobody talks to my friend like that. You two both know my name. We're in the same kindergarten class. And what is with all your really weird insults? Besides, when Akanji sweats, it's not gross. It's beautiful. Look at the shimmer. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> we, we, we gotta clean ourselves up a little bit. It's a good thing you didn't forget about the, that deodorant this morning. This classroom is hot, hot, hot. Professor Dog steps in to settle the class down and set some ground rules. I like how they use corgis. This is definitely like a, like a plus point for me. Sprinkles. Welcome to the University of Cooking School Academy for learning the greatest culinary academy in the world. The birthplace of culinary legends past, present, and future. Many challenges await you. There will be tears, there will be blood, there might even be really adorable tiny food. And when all is said and done, there will be a battle. You will leave 
your spokes and complete the broom cooking arena. And complete, sorry. <laughs> Fuck that up. Just then, another student enters the classroom and interrupts the professor's rousing speech. Okay, I'm gonna give him like a... Hi guys. Sorry I'm late. I hope everyone had a good summer. I really miss... Quiet! They took has it bad enough. But interrupting my monologue, you are the fast... You are on the fast track out of here, young man. Are you sure you're even in the right place? Don't you recognize me? This is my third year in this school with you as my teacher. Everyone stares at him blankly. Does no one remember me? I I'm... You're expelled if you utter one more word. I'm finished. Before I finished. Oh, this is getting a little hard. Let that be a weapon to you, Thugans. That tardiness is unacceptable. Even Clegg made it here on time, rolling halfway across town on his tiny wheels. You turn to see the student Sprinkles is referring, who appears to be some sort of industrial kitchen appliance. <laughs> Class bursts into laughter. Oh God! <laughs> oh, Clank, you rascal! Sprinkle walks in the classroom as everyone stands in silent obedience. When he gets to you, he lifts his nose into the air and takes a deep sniff. <laughs> oh, look at that cute boy! <laughs> It but be thick. Hmm. Your diet is lacking. Fits down. What a big up here. You definitely need a multivitamin. You should be taking better care of yourself. You've never heard a talking dog as a teacher before. But Sprinkle's reputation for being smart, but tough, is well known. You decide to try and butter him up by giving him a treat from your pocket. But what kind? <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna guess it, it has to be like a chicken snack because it's it's KFC, come on. We gotta we gotta give him like a chicken snack, right? You reach beneath your apron and return with a chicken snack in your hand. Sp Sprinkles' eyes go wide as he locks onto it. His favorite! Well, well, well. I think there might be some competition for new star student. The fairy professor immediately devours a snack, leaving your hands slick with a coating of warm doggy drool. You see others you see the other students eyeing you jealously, but pay no mind to them. If they wanted to succeed in life, they should have learned the importance of carrying a range of dog treat flavors on with them at all times. Settle down, young chef. Take your seat and prepare to have your minds open to the amazing possibilities a culinary creation. As everyone rushes to claim their favorite seats, you're left standing at the front of the room. Only two options remain. Hey, Akanji, there's a seat here. It seems that no one has claimed the seat next to me, if you're interested. Oh no, this is the part where I'm going to betray my friend. <laughs> oh boy. <sighs> Am I going to betray my friend? 
but I feel like the story won't progress if I sit by my best friend. But I feel like if it does progress, my best friend is gonna be like my enemy, right? Oh my god, why is it, why is it so hard? Shouldn't this be like easy? Okay, you know what? Because my friend had a vision, I'm gonna let her. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna honor her and sit by my best friend. You moved to take your seat by Miriam. I'm so glad you to have you near me to support me through this class. Of course, you're my best friend. Who else would I sit by? Colonel Sanders. He has such a magnetic personality, and there's a seat open right next to him. If he sat there, you might have gotten to know him a little better. I'd never sacrifice our friendship. Besides, I'm sure I'll get the chance to talk to him later in the semester. I've got three whole days. That's like a lifetime. So you say. But now that Miriam mentions it, that Colonel Sanders is just so darn dreamy. As soon as, as you settled into your seat, the professor makes an, 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 an announcement. Think fast! It's time for a pub quiz! Yay! A quiz about me? This incredibly important and surprisingly short quiz. Tell me if you are ready for life in culinary school. Keep your knife sharp and your focus sharper. Here comes question one. If, I, if train A is traveling to point B and train B is traveling to point A, how important is it to wash your hands before cooking? Oh God. <laughs> the train does not make any sense in this question at all. Yeah, I'm so I'm not gonna fuck it up. I'm just gonna go. That's right. Forest is the tree as the chicken. Is too. <laughs> the slam dunk. <laughs> Night vision goggles is questionable. That's right. What is the most effective eating utensil ever created? A comically oversized fork. <laughs> I would click that in no time. A meat tenderizer. A spork. Yeah, it's gonna be a spork, man. And that's right. What food is best for a broken heart? <laughs> wow. Anything as long as it's prepared with love and not too much salt. <laughs> okay. Camel meat. A pancake that looks like a silly face. This has to be the answer, come on. That's right. Is Frankel's a good boy? <laughs> He's a talking dog that teaches at culinary school. He is the best boy. Most definitely, yeah. That, that's gonna be the answer. That's right. Your total score is 5 out of 5. Great. Wow. Be honest. Did you cheat? Well, to be honest, I kinda did. I mean, given that we had to think this throughout and how linear this uh, story is and how it's gonna be. Yeah, so it's kind of like a yes. Well, look at me, he's so cute. He's so, so, so cute. He's this good boy, he's best boy. You look up to see that Colonel Sanders has been watching you tally your score. He's impressed. <laughs> oh damn. I know we just met, but I have to confess. I think you have a beautiful brain. 
cagó. <laughs> Hot diggity. <laughs> okay, she, you just scored some major Colonel Sanders points with that performance. May I have your attention, students? I have an important announcement to make. Time for lunch! Okay, so we have this like a little moment here. To be honest, this is so fucking weird. Like, okay, I mean, like, it's given, like, the story is gonna be linear. Um, because, you know, it's a free game. What do you expect from a free game? So you, you, get, you, got, you gotta like answer all the right questions or else the game is over or something. But you know what? I don't mind. I think it's, 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 it's growing in me a little bit. Uh, it's crazy though. So we will continue. Wow, the cafeteria is as nice as any restaurant you've ever eaten at. It makes sense that a school dedicated to cooking would also be serious about eating. A delicious fragrance wafts through the room and tickles the end of your nose. Your mouth waters. Do you smell that? That must be your lunch. It smells crazy good. Everyone, can I have your attention? Is this about lunch? No. I just wanted to apologize for my tardiness. You see, I was... Howdy, folks. I'd like to make an announcement. Hey, I was... It's about lunch. Everyone cheers. But... Uh... In honor of the new semester, I have prepared something special to share with everyone for lunch. Aha! Uh -huh. That must be the smell I smelled. Indeed. That smell. You hold your breath, waiting to see what food this mysterious student has created. You've heard that he's very talented. But were the rumors true? Is this? Colonel Sanders lifts a large bucket above his head. Its contents glimmer in the light. <laughs> oh God! Piled high are huge pieces of chicken, breaded and fried to a crispy, golden finish. The aroma envelops you, and you begin to feel warm and safe. Colonel Sanders has filled a bucket with, with chicken? What a noble concept. Your stomach begins to grumble as if to say, Stop thinking and start eating. For years, I have been developing a secret recipe for the perfect fried chicken. By my calculation, nothing less than 11 herbs and spices are required to achieve the perfect balance of flavors. You look around and notice that every other student has a pen and paper and is scribbling notes as fast as they can. But that's all I'll say about that. What do you think? We want a stupid secret recipe, dude? Pshaw. Nah, my dude, nah. I'm just a. Uh, I'm drafting a last will and testament. In case um, one of those ingredients is a uh, poison. Gotta. He looks around nervously to see if anyone else is laughing at a sick burn. You wait to see at Zinger, to see what Zinger Ashley has prepared to follow up. 
but she suddenly takes a different approach. Yeah, and I was like, just like uh, writing in my diary. Dear diary, today I smelled something beautiful. I knew that the moment that only the hands of a true gentleman could fry a chicken so tender. See your body language change from bitter and evil to sweet and innocent as she slides closer to Colonel Sanders. She realizes that he is destined for greatness and fame with cooking skills like this. She wants him all to herself. Mm. Ugh, oh please. Mm. Well, Van Van, the man man. If you don't want any, I'll take his. Whoa, hold on. I mean, I guess I'll try it. He takes one bite and his eyes go wide. He starts contorting his face as he tries to hold in his pure exhilaration and act unimpressed. Easy now. There is enough for everyone. Please, my fellow classmates, dig in. You take one, one of the pieces of fried chicken out of his bucket and sink your teeth into it. It's amazing. Tasting Colonel Sanders' food transports you to another dimension. <laughs> Okay, alone with your taste buds, gripping a drumstick in your hand, you float weightlessly. So you got three options. Focus your mind and meditate at this moment. Try to identify every flavor. Savor the moment and everything that it tells you about Oh, Colonel Sanders culinary heart. And swim towards the light. You know, I would swim towards the light to be honest, but for this story, we're gonna go all out for Colonel Sanders, except for the part where we we, we didn't betray our friend, because you know we are we loyal bitches over dicks. I the flavor in your mouth are beautiful, pure, heavenly. Wh what a guy! Alone with the flavors. You feel something that can only be described as love. For a man? For a flavor? Are they the same? After tasting his food, you try to get some one-on-one -on -one time with Colonel Sanders. You have no choice. <laughs> I'm gonna burp. <coughs> Excuse me. Colonel Sanders smiles ever so softly as you approach. He stops it. He stops what he's doing and allows you to break silence. Colonel, I wondered if I could talk to you for a second. Anything for a fellow chef. What exactly was on that chicken? <gasps> <laughs> How bold of to come out and ask. It's an idea I had for a new combination of flavors that will make me my fortune and establish my legacy for all time as I open a chain of highly successful fried chicken restaurants. No big deal. It's just you and me here talking. I can keep a secret. In fact, I've got some of my own that I'd be willing to trade. What's the rush? The semester is only getting started. We've got two more whole days to get to know each other. He's clearly not giving, going to give it up easily, but it doesn't hurt to be persistent. 
you know what they say about secrets, Colonel. Learning be fun? Aww. You've got Moxie. I'll give you that. Colonel Sanders looks both ways to make sure you're truly alone. And then leans in. You can feel his warm breath as he whispers. Just one ingredient. But you can't tell. I use boop. It's something my great grandmother taught me. Boop. Wow. You never guessed that. In fact, you're not even sure where'd you get some if you searched. While you wrapped up in that huge revelation, you notice that Colonel Sanders has disappeared. While everyone else is still in the cafeteria, you decide to look for him. You find Colonel Sanders outside, standing in the bar. Oh, it's you again. Howdy. Sometimes I like to come outside and look at the school buildings. I think about my sto how my story will continue on after I graduated. It sounds like you have big plans. I dare say the biggest. I will leave my mark in this world. You can bet on that. Okay, we're gonna wow him. Alone together for the first time, you will figure now is the perfect moment to show your personality to him. You know, about that, I was thinking about your secret recipe. I don't doubt it. It is a way of leaving an impression on all who taste it. You decide to show him that also know a thing or two about blowing minds with new flavors. I actually have some thoughts on how you can improve it. Improve it? You you want to change my secret recipe? So and you think you can do better? Have you ever heard of habanero peppers? <gasps> Heard of them? I tend an entire garden of chili pepper varieties. Habanero, poblano, cayenne. But that's not the point. You can't just toss new ingredients into my secret recipe and expect it to improve. Oh my god, I fucked it up. The res a recipe is about balance. It involves careful consideration and refinement. I, I didn't mean to. Pissed them off. Let this be the last time you improvise on my recipes, I got I'm headed back to class for the next lesson. That certainly didn't go as planned. You better ba head back inside. But you wait a moment so Colonel Sanders doesn't think you're desperately chasing after him. You step into the massive cooking arena where the afternoon lesson will take place. Each student gets an oven and all the tools and ingredients they could need. Look at this place. It's magnificent. Finally, we get to show off our stuff. Wait a second. Oh no. We have to show our stuff. What if I totally blow it? You're not gonna blow anything. Except maybe kisses to the crowd of fans you're gonna earn with your signature adorable tiny food creations. Welcome, student, to the cooking arena! For today's lesson, we'll be cooking with partners. Hurry up and pair off! Naturally, Miriam looks over at you, but unable to control yourself, you pounce on Colonel Sanders. How dare you? How d Yo, I didn't even get the chance. 
Yo. Yo, my character is so thirsty for this man. I, you know, I I didn't have like any plans to abandon my friend, but here I am. I just pounced on another guy. Damn, this bitch be wet. <laughs> anyway, let's let's continue. Okay. Hey, Colonel, would you like to tackle this lesson as a team? A team of two, that is. Me and you, if that wasn't clear. Wanna be my partner? Oh. Sure. Okay, Angie. I'll prepare a station. Fuck, man. Wait, hold on a second. I'm seriously pissed that I can't. Uh, I can't partner up with my best friend. I feel like a bitch. This is, uh, I feel like a bitch, man. <laughs> this is. I'm upset. I don't want to abandon my friend. Okay, but you know what? Because this this is the story. This is how it's gonna go for sure. I guess I don't have a choice. Without you as a partner, Miriam is left standing alone. Two different students quickly take notice. Hello, you partner. Bleep, boop, bleep, boop, bleep, boop, boop. Hmm. Oh my, two potential partners? <laughs> I'm so sorry, gentlemen, but I don't know who to choose. It looks like you have to pick for her. Friend duties can be a little awkward, but that's a price you pay for not being alone forever. Whoa! Oh, dang! <laughs> Who do you want to ask to be Miriam's partner? Do I want Clank or do I want Pop? I feel like if I choose um, Pop, it's gonna go downhill re real quick, so I'm gonna choose Clank. <sighs> Sorry, Pop, but I think Miriam will be partnering with Clank today. It's okay, I already ate. It's not entirely clear if Pop has any idea what the point of school is even is at this juncture. Clank clearly excited to have some attention, he heats up and begins to roll back and forth. <laughs> what the heck? I like this guy. He cute. I accept. Hold on there, fella. We don't even know the assignment yet. Technically, Clank might not have a face. But there's something charming and earnest about him. Buzzed. Tissue? I hardly know you. <laughs> Clank judders and a panel shakes loose. You get the impression that this is a sign of affection. Aw, oh, Clank. Looks like you two will be fine. Now, it's time to focus on your own cooking class work. Alright you two, for today's lesson, we're gonna keep it simple. Pick a base dish and divide up the steps. No chef is an island, it takes two flints to make a fire. You get the idea? Which dish do you suggest to your partner, Colonel Sanders? Steak tartare seems easy enough. It's fancy. You don't need. You don't even need to cook it. Okay, you know what I think? Grandmother's mashed potato and gravy because you know KFC. Oh, he he gave heart shapes. I've always been something of a down home chef. I was thinking we could make something warm, inviting, comforting. Maybe mashed potatoes? <gasps> and gravy! <laughs> oh my god, every time we flex. Look at that muscle, bro. He's big. Damn guns are big. 
hug me in those, please. I couldn't imagine one without the other. Colonel Sanders casts a coy look at you, causing your whole face to go beet red. Embarrassed, you quickly turn away. I'll go, to, I'll, I'll go get potatoes. No, please, let me. Picking perfect produce is a passion of mine. Uh-huh. Looks like things are getting pretty fresh around here. Does someone have a crush on Colonel Sanders? We're just cooking partners. Mind your own business. Sanders' heart is my business. And you better keep your fingers off of my man. Did someone call for me? Ugh. No, jeez, Van Van. While I'm over here pushing a country game, you're supposed to be taking care of our classwork. What's that was the deal, remember? Colonel Sanders returned. Arms full of killed potatoes. He tossed them through the boiling water and turned his attention to you. And your old friend. Wow, that girl is really glad. Oh, howdy there, Ashley. Van Van. Are we working on a quartet instead of a idiot? Oh, actually, no. It looks like Ashley and his brother and some author can give them a hand. You know how it is, these young amateur chefs need a lot of mentors. Uh, I was gonna say, Colonel Sanders, maybe I can teach you a thing or two about fancy food. Maybe one day you might be able to get up on my level. Ha! <laughs> Down. <gasps> Down the road, fat man. Personally? No doubt whatsoever about Colonel Sanders' ability to concoct creations worthy of admiration. But after all, your fried chicken was quite spectacular. The Colonel, if you ask me, I might make a better partner than for you than this thing that has positioned itself at your station. This should be a good down that we can complimentary shadows we fit together like a pie and drop it just makes sense nothing about that makes sense but one thing is true keep coming for Carol if you don't watch out Ashley is really going at you hard we can back up here I need to turn to Colonel Sanders because that's like my only hope, I guess. I need to learn and express myself via my cuisine, not bicker with prima donna. The partners are chosen at the beginning of class, so let's respect the former. Okay, maybe. Love I think Colonel Sanders is concerned that you're on the same page. I choose Colonel Sanders and Colonel Sanders choose me. Chose. I think it's chose, right? It's chose, right? It's past tense. Fuck me. Is it not right? A business man respects all fair agreements from contracts to handshake. I look on not to envy my partner for this activity and I stand by. Based on your team's behavior, I'd say you're perfect for each other. Neither of you has Aka Envy's natural talent or your loyalty. He's defended by Colonel Sanders, he's just being a coward. Full of potential. He looks like Sprinkle. But the first time you step in, there's nowhere to be found. Stop. His cheap clothes and his short but sturdy feature. 
you look down at your face and realize that in the tension of the moment, your hands have been Your hands have been You have been cooking on autopilot. Distracted by the drama, you've already crushed the boiled potatoes into a perfectly creamy mashed texture. With plenty of butter and cream for flavor, it can give you a natural passion guiding you through the steps you know so well while you're cooking out there. I know just what to do. Now it's not a fantastic time. I'm holding a beautiful white chocolate gravy. Out of which you pour the steamy brown gravy, smothering your nearly finished potato dish. <laughs> what the fuck? This is like food porn because I'm getting hungry. I kind of want like KFC now. And that is the whole point of having this game. <laughs> You're trying to entice you to get them chicken and, you know, mashed potato gravy. Gravy flows down the mound of mashed potatoes. The results look spectacular. Granny would be very proud. Oh, Nanny! <laughs> what the fuck? Colonel Sanders holds a spork out to you. You reach out and grab hold of it, but he doesn't immediately let go. <laughs> I cringe. <laughs> this is ridiculous. The two of you stand holding the same spork. And for a small moment, all of the madness and pressure in this crazy world stops. Your eyes lock. The moment is electric. Time stands still. If you love something, set it free. <laughs> I'm getting like <laughs> cringy feelings right now. And <laughs> it's disgusting. <laughs> I'm fucking cringing, bros. <laughs> Together, you dig the utensils, the utensil into the mashed potatoes, and lift a heaping sportful up. When you see Ashley with a sinister look. You know she's plotting against you to be with Colonel Sanders. And then, filled with rage, and without thinking, you fling the sport full of mashed potatoes right into Ashley's stupid, beautiful face. Bam, bam, do something! Picking up finger for bam, bam, do something. Mashed potatoes and gravy, and realize that it is good. Horrified by this revelation, much of you, you have to do something to fix the life of the tragedy. Hold on, right there, we we do not waste food in the game. We're in now. Colonel Taylor is there from you. You girl want that food food. You better be prepared to eat it for forever it lands. Can I have potato fries? Bam Bam rushes back over. Cover the dishes in hand. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Look at that shit, it, it's Diana. What the fuck is that? Mashed potatoes with gravy? Pathetic! In just a few minutes, I prepared a full meal. Great gaze upon my specialty. Braised tentacles of octopus in my silky salt water sauce. Place it on the battle axe. <laughs> battle axe. Played forward battle axe. Supreme Chef and the third. 
but you ignore people too long. That's how it that ends now. And it is I who have the first thought. You will all look on with envy. Damn it. The interrupted tree rushes at that bad end. Slice a bite of the signature dish right on the plate. Do Don't! 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 This is quite right up my nose. Right. I think the octopus is back. And may have turned in the process. They were both. Could you just sit? Yeah. I don't It killed him! Everyone! Back! Step back! Don't take another bite! When you look back at the place, the rest is gone. The rest of it is gone. He noticed the tip of the tentacle being sweet. Pop went to the same for just a moment. Then almost immediately back to a bloody stuff. This is his explosion. The entire class is scattered to watch Pop's final moment. Shock. Explosion to the crowd. The class bell rings, disrupting the moment and snapping everyone back to reality. It would appear that Pop's enthusiasm for trying new things, despite obvious danger, has inoculated him against poisons of all kind. I'm not sure the professor here make enough money. Um, hello? I just turned into a ghost over here. Seeing that you're shaken up by r that really annoying student and all his nonsense, Colonel Sanders approaches you. I'm sorry you had to go through all that. Please, let me walk you home. What? Like... For real? Oh, come on! <laughs> you follow Colonel Sanders out of the room. At night, the school building has taken on another vibe entirely. It's dark and more than a little spooky. Colonel Sanders stands in the quad's neon glow and speaks softly. Those mashed potatoes you made in class today. Before you go on, I want you to know they're not a great representation of my skills. I didn't even realize I was making them. They were amazing. Tasting them reminded me why I became so passionate about food to begin with. Colonel Sanders is getting choked up. Cooking is obviously important to him in a way that you find inspiring. Now might be the perfect time to tell him you're developing feelings for him. Colonel Sanders? Yes, Akanji? There's something I need to tell you. Hold it right there. There's something I need to tell you first. Oh, God, jeez. You see, when I was just a boy, I had a dream that one day I would be the greatest chef the world has ever seen. And ever since, and every day since, I have been working towards that dream day and night. Never stopping, never resting. Also lifting a lot of weights. Like, so many weights. 
We should follow our we should follow our dreams with all our hearts that our souls may grant them like wishes floating on a shooting star. Ugh. Hey, no, I, you, <laughs> shut up. I'm the one here to say inspirational stuff and be the star of the story. Are we forgetting that your cooking literally killed a guy? You can't prove that. Hmm. I also saw you killed that guy. What was his name? Somewhere in the distance. You hear a long, sad sigh. Forget him. We talking about me. Me, 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 me. I'm the hero. <laughs> Spook monster. The Spook monster is here to fight a hero. I think. Later, nerd. How dare you threaten me just as I was lifted out my garden with another shot on an emotional level. Be afraid. Be very afraid of me because I'm a monster. See? Is he rhyming on purpose or is that just a coincidence? But before you can discuss Sid Cat any further, it's a turn based on secrets. What will you do? Uh, uh, I guess I'll defend. You decide to defend. Which defense will you choose? Huh, <laughs> trepidation. You close your eyes tight. But then open one just enough to squint and see the sport monster across the battlefield. For some reason, this makes you feel more prepared for what comes next. Sport monster goes on the attack. <laughs> they spit hot gravy at you. You take one damage. Lot of good that defense did. Look at that attack. Decide to go on the attack. Cook with that. Does more damage. Bork Monster won't forget this. Bork Monster focuses the mashed mind and draws in energy from Mother Earth itself. Big Rupture. And more intimidating. How will you respond? Attack! Decide to go on attack. Which attack do you use? Cook with her. There's one damage. Sport monster is not a quitter. But stop the very trouble. You go on the attack once again. Sport monster uses utility cancel. What? <laughs> you take two damage from the attack. Take more damage, you're not gonna survive the bell. That's it. Which defend will use? Buffa. No one controlled this much buffa. Start to be loaded. Quite frankly, a little greasy. Get our attack soon, or you are likely to explode. You decide to go on an attack. Do I chow down? Or do I keep good love? Chow down. Chow down does two damage. A powerful blow. Spark monster is using cheese on the lock. Squad. The quad. I wonder who is going to have that mess up. Be vulnerable. Spark monster prepares for its ultimate attack. Rounded edge. Fire. Villain. Your brain. Of terror stops here. Why do I sound like you English, bro? He's a... He's a guy. Girl, Sanders summons the energy of a thousand chickens. Pot, 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 
high powered pistols can't get a touch. Support the monster is defeated. You think? monster left behind a special item. It appears at first to be a cookbook, but a, but upon closer inspection, it's so much more. Holy shit. You did! You finished the game? Holy shit! My dude! <laughs> That's insane! Well, I mean, it is a free game, so I expect it to be, like, really short and stuff. <laughs> it's a book of magic spells with a golden chicken on the cover. Oh, God, I can't wait to get to that part. I mean, like, I just had, like, this weird mashed potato monster, bro. Fucking weird. <laughs> And there, there's like parts where like, you know, you, you like massive cringe. Like I think the one where he was like, uh, when we're gonna dig into that, what do you call that? That mashed potato that we made? Mash, mashed potato and gravy, yeah. The whole screen was like, I think it was pink if I remember it right. I think, I don't know. Couldn't be bothered. <laughs> I just, just sat there like cringing at it. I was like, whoa, bro. <laughs> you open the cover and find a library card tucked inside. <laughs> the last name to have signed it out is Borco. Hmm. Who the hell is Borco, bro? Borco. That name sounds strangely familiar. Ash, don't spoil me, woman. <laughs> she says, "I'm not looking at, I'm not looking at chat anymore." <laughs> Good luck. Your blood is pumping as you stand in quiet, in the quiet of the night, holding the mysterious book in your hands. As you come down from your battle buzz. Oh god. <laughs> you realize that your final attack has left you completely depleted. The world around you begins to fade away. Without any energy to keep your eyes open, darkness overtakes you. Ulu! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> what you doing in my room? <laughs> Nani? Nani is this? The image of Colonel Sanders flashes before your eyes as you fall asleep. <laughs> Ulu! Grabe! Grabe siya oh! Tang ina! Ano to? <laughs> He must have helped you get home in your tired state. You don't know if you could have made it without him. What a guy. Give him a fucking jacket, please. Good boy, Colonel Sanders. Oh, I think there's a big ass chicken right there. This is probably a core boy band. I feel it. Is that Pearls? Martha? 
Nah, let's not go there. <laughs> you want to thank him, but you don't have any strength to utter a single word. You feel your covers being pulled up over you as you are tucked in tightly. Good lord. Ugh, I can't believe I'm a... Oh, what do they call a BTS fan? ARMY? I think. Oh my god, my character's an ARMY. Jeez. Good night, my colonel. Hello, Grabisha. Gagu. <laughs> In your dream, you are together with Colonel Sanders. For some reason, Sprinkles is also there, instructing your love. Dreams are weird. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> Grabby. Oh, what the fuck is that? <laughs> do it again, do it again. <laughs> what the hell? Can those things come back out? Oh dear. <laughs> you awake on day two and attempt to process the wild visions you had. Were they memories or premonitions? Oh, that's sad. I really wanted the chickens to come back out. That was kind of cute. I'd have that as a wallpaper, to be honest. And then. There was that secret ingredient that Colonel Sanders went ahead and told you outright. Not much of a secret, huh? It's probably because he already trusts you so much. Damn, first time meeting this dude and he be all up my, all up my private space, you know? Girl, you gotta, you gotta have like some pride in you or something. Sure. That makes sense. <laughs> we'll go with that. You meet up with your bestie in front. You know what? If you're, if you're still watching, Q. They didn't give me an option to be with my best friend, like during the match, and I felt like I betrayed my best friend. But okay, given that this is a KFC game, he is the star and all that. So, but. Uh, I can't believe it. Like, like throughout that whole sequence, I was just thinking, like, I betrayed my fucking friend. Like, what happened to bitches before dicks? <laughs> you meet up with your bestie in the front of the school. Before you can tell her about the encounter with the sport monster, she launches into a story of her own. Okay. Strange, but I think I might be. Um, I think I might like Clank. Like him? Like, like Clank? I know it sounds like it's moving too fast, but there's something about him. I like him. Like, like him. We got to talking after class, and he's actually a totally sweet guy. Not only that, but he's really smart. He told me all kinds of stories about Colonel Sanders. Did you know that Colonel Sanders was the most popular kid in his high school? <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I love her so much. But I can't believe, like, she is not an option to date because I would totally date her. No, but that does, does make complete sense. Yeah, but he's, he was so popular that he was voted prom king at a school he didn't even go to. What? <laughs> Wait, what the fuck was that? <laughs> Comfortable. It was also the comfortable that he himself rode in at the front of the homecoming parade. What the fuck? This is so weird. Why? I mean, 
I'm thinking maybe something got lost in pressure cooker language translation there. Yeah, for sure. Me too. I understand. Either way, maybe it'd be best if you took it slow with this new boy. Like I am with Colonel Sanders. I cringed. <laughs> Dude, come on. She your best friend. Are you, the, It's only like day two and you're hoeing out already? Girl, priorities. You and Colonel Sanders, the coolest guy in school, the most famous student ever to attend University of Cooking School Academy for like that's a really long name. Okay. <laughs> it's a fucking long school name. Why would you do that? You were thing now? We definitely connected yesterday. <laughs> sure you did. You're great. Why wouldn't he be into you, I guess? Laughing at the implication that you and Colonel Sanders might be a thing is definitely not cool. You are great. <laughs> oh gosh. You have an idea about how to prove that you're loved. Oh god, girl, damn. So much for taking it slow. Well, if he's not into me, why did he tell me one of his secret ingredients? Your bestie's light. Girl, you just said that. How dare you? A secret ingredient? Y yeah, I just said that. A secret ingredient. Is there a dramatic echo in here? Oh, fuck. Really? Oh god, this is so weird. This game is so weird. Miriam checks to make sure you're alone before continuing. Oh. Oh. So, this summer, while I was on vacation with my family, a lovely man approached me in the botanical garden where I was wondering. This can't be true. He told me all about his passion for spices. Secret spices. Oh my god. You know, like pen pals. 
I bet he would love to know more about new spices. Well, I'm definitely not supposed to share Colonel Sanders' secret recipe, and besides, I only know the one ingredient, so I doubt it'll be much use to anyone. Please, please, please! It would mean the world to me. No one has to know it came from you or from Colonel Sanders. Okay, um, I would like to fuck up the story right here, right now, by telling her, but at the same time, like, I just want to play along, because I feel like it will go in a loop, or I would, I would, like, lose Colonel Sanders' trust or something, I, I don't know, I don't know how this dating simulator works. It's a bee? Uh, uh, spoilers, Q. <laughs> okay, I'll make up a fake <laughs> Okay, so it's not a bee. Okay, okay, that's that's good. That's good. Okay, I'll make up a fake ingredient then. You quickly think of a fake ingredient name. I don't know. How about... It was Eye of Meat. I know. It sounds like some kind of a witch's potion. But what can you do? Eye of Meat? Wow! <laughs> yes, figure of speech. Yep, yep. I'm just fucking with you. Don't worry. Her eyes light up. Imagining such a thing, and you figure that you you've satisfied her curiosity, and she'll move on. I feel like if this was like a legit dating scene, this would totally like blow me over. However, she immediately turns around and does some thumb typing on her phone. Wow! So that's called thumb typing. like a little term and for all my life I didn't know this thumb typing can be used in essays or whatever it feels so dumb like I'm getting dumber every time every every second okay let's continue on before you can ask her to confirm that she was definitely not texting secrets to other people you're interrupted oh yep crazy shit bro oh why a wind rushes in cherry blossom petals fill the air <laughs> what the fuck what the fuck is this shit <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> it's Colonel Sanders. He's arriving at school. Oh god. I feel like if I run to him, it'll be like some kind of like narcissistic shit. Back and I'm very, yeah. This is definitely, you know what? I'm gonna try and click this and see how it goes. Colonel Sanders' horse is truly a thing of beauty. <laughs> <laughs> Gently on its rear, sending it high free into the countryside. 
check like the progression of this of the game on the load okay uh, this one oh I'm already halfway uh, yeah but I really gotta sleep because I have work This is uh, part one of two. Tomorrow, I'll definitely finish the game tomorrow for sure. And hey, do you want to join me? Then we can make stupid comments while I go through this this game. If you're interested. All right, awesome, 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 cool, cool. We're gonna we're gonna have like stupid comments and stuff. That's cool. I think I think it's okay. Oh, I know. How about like we do the the, the screen share thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can totally like do stupid shit with that, man. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. So I guess. Okay, wait, hold on a sec. If I leave the game, will it... Uh, will it screw up my... 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 My current... Um, yeah. I'm not so sure. We'll find out. Let's try this. Title screen. Jesus Christ. Can I have this as my background? Goodbye, Sombra. Hello, Colonel Sanders. So if I were to load game, I'll just click this and click that. Okay, okay, that seems good. Ah, all right, all right. I think that's 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 cool. All right then. I guess uh, I'll stream tomorrow. Yep. Thanks for sticking around, Q. Truly appreciate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. Awesome. And then you're gonna see like this crazy ass screen. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.